Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man uh, Exquisite Timing plus some permanent dark events for good measure. My name is Saiken and we're playing uh, the speedrun version uh, where we're trying to achieve uh, victory in less than four months. It is normally only doable on Commander difficulty. Not sure if it is technically even possible to do it on Legendary difficulty. Uh, no one has done it so far. But um, I might want to give it a try. We're in month number three overall. We're looking at the time. We're at May 12th. So more than halfway done. It's looking okay, but there is a big Damocles sword kind of lingering above our heads, which is uh, the remaining research that needs to be done in the Shadow Chamber. Shadow Chamber will finish mid of May. I think that's almost a bit too late. We are... Definitely okay when it comes to intel and supplies, so we should be fine with all of the um, expansions that we're planning. Um, we're going to go for that scientist here and a protect the device mission, although uh, the other reward would have been better uh, because we need more scientists to speed up the research that I've just talked about. Let's get our team equipped. Um, in today's mission, we're going to bring the A-team. Definitely Wrath, uh, definitely uh, Divad, definitely uh, Hayward is our specialist, and probably Boom Boom, just for good measure. Um, those two here are a team. And yeah, Sane needs to stay at home for now. Um, I think everyone, almost everyone is fully equipped. Uh, Divat here needs a bit of equipment. All right, here we go. So Divat got himself a nice gun with a repeater. Matter of fact, the only um, other gun that we had, the DLC gun, is currently on our Covert Ops mission, so I couldn't take that. We got the DLC uh, gun, a sword rifle for um, Hayward. Uh, we got our med kit, we got a flashbang, we got cover removal, and to be honest, uh, Wrath has a lot of uh, things in his kit by himself. If we do our things, uh, if we do our homework correctly and protect the device, this should turn out nicely. The extra scientist is a damn good reward, but this is going to be a difficult mission, very difficult. All right, we just landed, ladies and gentlemen. Good. This is the device. It's probably going to be under attack from round number one onwards. We got a few remote startable objects. That's fine. Moving in very fast. These two are working together like a well oiled machine. As long as we keep them close to each other, good. I mentioned that we're going to see quite a few faceless ones. So, in terms of our sniper, let's position Diva on the rooftop. Of course, high ground and sniper goes together very very well boom boom also charges in like I said we're trying to reach the target as soon as possible another set of enemies We've got an enemy squad here. That's six very very close the um, aligned to one another. Can't hit all of them at the same time, which means we're not going to even try it then. And instead, I would like to... Mm, this here is dangerous because they could uh, move up the stairs and then spot us out. So we're not going to do that. Mm, 
This here is moderately dangerous, so we can move all the way up here. Overseeing the entirety of the landscape. Unfortunately, nothing to explode, which is a bit of a shame. Solid high ground here. Boom, boom. Boom Boom also sounds a bit like a summer hit uh, of a band like the Venga Boys. You don't need to uh, Google uh, or YouTube that. It, it just, that name somewhat triggers really nice punchlines. Okay, so they're moving in. Going next to the actual target, which is not bad. Might as well position themselves there, okay. And the other pack moves out. Okay, 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 okay. How about we're just plugging that here? That will take away a bit of the uh, stairs and hopefully some, some parts of the wall. More importantly, though, these guys are going to go down. Moving into full cover. Yeah, I don't care that we're being spotted. We wanted to engage anyways. Minimum damage, really. All right, boom, boom, moves up. This is a hundred percent kill because uh, it would have been two points of damage, even if uh, he would have missed. And that's four points of damage. Cannot dodge. There you go. There you go. <sighs> well, we exactly know what she's capable to do. Revenge chance to return uh, fire missed fire shots. Bewildered, and she hates uh, Reapers, which is a nice coincidence because we are going to give it to her Show with a Reaper. Near your Stay on guard, yeah, on guard. Reaper moves up. I mean, guys, you know how it is, right? Um, let's move to here. And that's an overwatch. I would like to just reload and overwatch with a pistol in case that second pack uh, is going to come out here. Reload and overwatch. So far, the target device hasn't taken any damage, and that's a pretty good uh, situation to just overwatch and kill them. Of course, that means your overwatch would theoretically need to hit, which that was the exact opposite of hitting. Mind you, we had high ground, and of course, we're being spotted out perfect. Like, now we fight in the open. so many things went wrong at the same time here. <laughs> All right, the 
only saving grace is we are not also being spotted out at the same time. Yeah, we could hit both of them. This here would actually be a relatively smart move. Maximizing the damage, taking away the cover, and putting them into level range. In order to further maximize our efficiency, I'd like to reload first. Do that whenever you can. And there we go with the grenade. Boom Boom sets them up nicely. By the way, awesome, awesome damage. Okay. Yeah, so how about we're killing the stun lancer here and before we do anything else we're going for lightning hands nice little hit yeah that's that's the most efficient play I was thinking about who should give whom um, actions. We do not have death from above yet, but we can provide teamwork. This is another kill. And we are about to final, uh, finish all of those guys. Uh, how about we are going into shadows? We're keeping that eye for now. Shadow up. Reload. And this here is a kill. Plus we're not going to lose our concealment thanks to Silent Killer. Good. Dealt with that pack. Now, with her being in the shadows, uh, him being in the shadows, we have a chance to spot out the assassin, which coincidentally just happened. Oh yeah, it is very much time to strike, believe me. Okay, moving out here just to spread out just a tiny bit more in case she's going to survive the massacre that's uh, going to come. Nice, so that was her armor. Now we do not have we do not have extra pistol shots, but we do have a nice critical six points of damage. That was good. I won't be by your um, aid protocol really doesn't do a lot, so might as well just reload to be efficient with our um, actions. There is to be wilder hit, nine points of damage. So we're looking at what, 2, 4, uh, that's not enough, 7 to 10, 10 to 15, alright, here we go, 22 points of damage, that's what I'm talking about, baby, bewilderment, crit, uh, dead eye, with a ballistic weapon, and no upgrades whatsoever. Still to 
find one capable of besting me more than once. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Well, look at that. We got five extra point ability points. Flawless mission. I like it. That worked out quite well. Good, and here we are coming back. Hmm. No promotions. That is not the message that I was hoping for. But I guess realistically with seven enemies you can't uh, ask for more. Got an Alarium Core that was the loot. And a scientist plus a dark event countered. Going to continue to speed up all of the research. That's fine. I wish we would have a few more ranks here. Got some nice uh, mobility points. Wrath is hopefully going to carry this. Um, so far, the Vector Rifle and his ability was well worth it. Um, we do not have the doubling of uh, resources that we're scanning for resistance order and we can't easily switch it in so my experience with those types of um, scans is you scan for eight days and then you get like what maybe 30 40 intel question is are we better off just scanning for intel here instead of the abandoned camp We could leave it here, and if it still exists next month, we can um, switch in the other uh, resistance order and get twice the amount. All right, the game stopped again, which tells me something strange is happening. Proving ground sort of fucked up the cores, uh, the experimental ammunition again. So that was the second time that it didn't work out. I have no idea why there seems to be a bug where the core is going missing and we're trying to get experimental ammunition and it just doesn't work. Um, I don't want to build a spark. So this time we're going for a grenade. It's a bit disappointing. Yeah, and we're we're not even getting any ammunition. That's a bit disappointing. Strange. Okay. Um let's continue doing intel. We got some more room here. We're short on power, but what would we want to build realistically? Guerrilla Tactics School, definitely helpful, but we're probably going for resistance comms at this point, which means given where we are, let's put Madeline in here. Or we're simply upgrading for two energy. I think that's the better choice. Madeline can get away. That is three energy to go. And I mean, we do have a few really nice options here, but I think the one that we definitely need to go for is the resistance communications. The guerrilla tactics school would be awesome as well. Let's do the calculation. How long does this year take? Seven more days. Seven more days plus 15 to build. That's 22 days from now. Um, in five days, we're going to start. Yeah. 
we haven't been coming uh, so far to now screw it up with a greedy guerrilla tactic school and I put greedy in air quotes because I don't think that in month number three it is greedy to build a guerrilla tactic school it's actually quite late it's all good Chen don't don't sweat it um, soon we're going to get uh, this one here which will finally be the GTS and Shadow Chamber needs to be upgraded as much as possible. More 11 more days. I will upgrade the resistance ring likely to get another um, to get another resistance order. And that is our next mission, guys. So with that being said, um we're going to end uh, today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. I'll see you all a bit later. Bye-bye.